Hi everyone, it's Emma of My Pampered Pets and today I am doing a video that I am so nervous to make. Basically, I am going to attempt to bond all five of my rabbits together as a big group. Now usually I only ever bond like pairs or trios, but now I am going to bond the most amount of rabbits I've ever bonded and that is a group of five. So I already have a pair which is Primrose and Bertie and I also have a trio which is Robin, Scarlet and Ruby and ideally I want to get them all together as one big group. The reason I want to do that is that it will just make my life so much easier, it will make their quality of life so much better because it means they will have a lot more room, they will have the whole shed, they will have all the aviary, it will just be the best thing for them and I just really really want it to work. Unfortunately Robin never really bonded with Primrose and Bertie when I just had the three of them but I'm hoping that they will all bond as a five because the dynamic is slightly different. Obviously now I have three girls rather than just the one so the boys hopefully won't be fighting over that one girl because obviously there's now three of them so hopefully this is going to work and yeah I'm just going to give it my best shot. I've booked a week off work and I'm just going to quickly show you what I have sorted. So this is my home for the next week or hopefully less we will see how it goes. Basically I've got a nice comfy chair for me to sit on and then I have this cage for the time being. This is horrible. This is so hard on my heart putting the rabbits in this cage because it is so small. I would never ever keep rabbits in this permanently full time or anything but if you've never bonded before you won't know but basically when you bond you need to put them in a very very small space. I'm going to feel so mean but it is the best thing to do so I'm going to keep them in this cage for hopefully not too long and then I'm going to make like a pen in the bathroom because I do have some like metal panels so I can make their space as big as I want. Maybe I'll even give them the whole bathroom, I don't know. The reason I'm doing it in the bathroom is because it is a neutral space. It's a space that's easy to clean, it's a space the rabbits won't recognise, so it's just the best place to bond in my house really. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go get the rabbits, bring them back here, pop them in the cage and we'll see how it goes. And so it begins. I have all five in here. It's only a small carrier. As you can see, there's no fights or anything. They're just a bit like, why are we in here, Mum? Why are we in here, Mum? The others are at the back. But yeah, so we'll see how it goes. There's not been any scraps or anything in the carrier. They've all snuggled up and been absolutely fine. So now I'm going to move them into the cage. I just wanted to show you that I do have gloves that I'm going to be putting on for this bond, as you can see. There's bites actually on the gloves from last time I attempted bonding. So this is why it's so important to wear gloves because that would have been my hand. No one wants that. So I'm going to put these on and I'm going to release them and we'll see how it goes. I have another camera so I'm going to try to set that up so you can see. But yes, yeah, so as you can see, cage is set up. I'm going to put some veg in there for them just to distract them a little bit and then pop them in. I just want to reiterate that I would never leave rabbits in this cage full time. This would be a cruel size cage, as you can see, they have barely any room. But that is the good way to start them off because obviously they're in close contact, they can get used to each other's smells and all that kind of thing. So I guess we'll just see how it goes. I'm quite nervous. The two I'm most nervous about is Bertie and Robin. Robin is the Dutch rabbit in the corner. And this fluffy one here is Bertie. This big girl here is Primrose, the Igluti one. And then I have the twins. And they are really hard to tell apart, but we have Scarlet here and Ruby here. And yeah, we'll see how they go. They've only been together for about two minutes, but as you can see, Primrose seems to be being a bit submissive. She's popping her head down underneath the others, as if to say, accept me, I am nice. So I don't think she's going to be the dominant one from looking at this. But we will see. I don't know who will be boss. So I didn't catch it on camera, but Primrose actually did go and nip Robin. But he didn't retaliate, so it was okay. She seems to really want the two girls to like her. Like She's been really submissive towards them. Now you two make me nervous. But yeah, they once had a fight. Did I'm assuming it was Bertie and Robin, but it could have been Primrose and Robin when I tried to attempt them as a trio quite a while back before I got Scarlet and Ruby and Robin actually got his eye ripped, he, as you can see he does have a scar on the bottom of his eye so that's how nasty rabbits can be which is why I want to stick with them for well, pretty much 24-7 in here don't want to leave them because I want to be here to split up any possible fights 
Robin. Robin, would you not please? Naughty boy. Ah, excuse me. Stop. Stop. He's done nothing to you. Yep, he was the one I thought would be the problem, him and Bertie. Primrose is now having a wash, which is a really good sign because that shows that she is pretty comfortable in her surroundings. She's not just sitting there terrified, she's actually acting like a normal bunny. Oh, now she's flopping. Oh my goodness, you're so beautiful. Try them with some pellets now and see how that goes down. There you go. Stamping at me. <laughs> Oi! Stop it! So we are three hours in and so far so good. We have had a few little scraps as you've seen, but nothing really serious. They've not really been locking on and having big fights like they have in the past, so that's good. Yeah, it is going quite well. I think I just caught Primrose licking Scarlet on the head, but as soon as I turned the camera on, she stopped. So at least I think that's what she was doing. It was quite hard to see because their faces were so close to each other. But the fact that their faces were so close and they weren't fighting and biting each other, that is a good thing. So, yeah, so far so good.
a little update. It's been five hours since they were put in this cage. And to be honest, everything's going really, really well. Primrose has been a little angel. She's washed Scarlet on the face and she's also washed Robin on the face, which is just great news. They're two bunnies that she's not living with and she's gone and washed them, so that's amazing. Ruby's taken a liking to Bertie and has been snuggled up to him for the last hour, which is really lovely. But he's not groomed her, she's not groomed him or anything like that. It's just a case of being snuggled up together. But that's amazing. And yeah, as you can see, they all look pretty content. Nobody looks stressed. So yeah, we will keep going and see how it progresses. situation we have Ruby and Robin on the left and then over there we've got Bertie in the corner and Scarlet and Primrose and Scarlet is really loving on Primrose at the minute look at them so cute Primrose is just having a wash and Ruby's trying her look we wanted to get washed too <laughs> Good boy. I'm back with an update. It's now been 11 hours. I am so fed up. I don't know about these bunnies, but they're doing so, so well. Scarlet seems to really like Primrose. She snuggled up next to her. And Ruby seems to have found a friend in Bertie. Bertie's not really stretched out and showed that much interest, but he's still kind of snuggled with her, so that's quite cute. And Robin's the troublemaker in the middle. He'll occasionally go up and nip Bertie. He'll occasionally go up and nip Primrose. But there's not been any lock-on fights or anything too serious. So I'm happy with how it's going. So it's almost 1am. Which means the rabbits have almost been together for 13 hours. And it's going really well. They're all pretty relaxed. I was stroking these two. And Robin got jealous. So we decided to lay across Scarlet, <laughs> so I could stroke him too. <laughs> so cute. Bert is still not really laid out, but at least he's there. He's still kind of snuggling. morning the rabbits have now been together 21 hours and i actually got to go to sleep in my own bed yay i really thought i'd have to camp out in the bathroom because that's usually what i do when bonding but these five are just doing so well that i felt confident to actually go up to my bed obviously i left the door open so i could hear them if there were any fights or anything but they've been amazing all night absolutely fab as you can see primrose is very much loving on Scarlet, that's Scarlet there, so that's great. Ruby really seems to like Bertie, not sure why because Bertie spent most of the time sitting in the corner being grumpy, but it's nice that she's taken a liking to him. And Robin is very much in love with all three girlies, he's been snuggling up to all three of the girls. He's yet to become pally with Bertie, but the fact that he's even living in such close proximity and not having any fights is amazing. I'm hoping they'll come round to each other soon. So yeah, that is the update. I'm really happy with how it's going and I'll keep you updated. Robin! Robin! I've just expanded the rabbit's space to see how they get on in a bigger area. A little bit nervous because obviously They've been cooped up for quite a while, so they're excited to come out and explore. And it's the most they've been moving around. 
They've been together 23 hours now, so obviously nearly a full 24 hours. So I thought it was about time the poor little things could come out of that cage. And they seem really happy to be out. But yeah, I'm a little bit wary of how they're going to be now in the bigger space. So we will just watch and observe, I guess. I'm going to clean out that the base of the cage. That's now become like a big litter tray. So I'm going to obviously refresh that, but I'm just watching them for now because I'm a bit scared to just disappear in this moment. But yeah, we'll see how they get on. So Bertie and Robin are pretty close right now. Robin's occasionally nipping him, but the fact that they're in such close proximity is pretty good. freshened up the litter tray for them. It's now full of Timothy hair and it's nice and clean. Got Primrose over there, Robin here. All seems to be going okay. Robin's nipping a little bit still but no big fights so that's really good. But yeah, we are now 25 hours in. three hours into bonding and it's going amazing they still have the extended space but they're all just sitting in there at the minute Bertie's just groomed Scarlet which was really really lovely he seemed to have taken a liking to Ruby so it was nice to see him interacting with Scarlet as well so that's really nice so I think all we're waiting on now really is the two boys to wash each other or cuddle up or something like that I just need the two boys to show each other some love and then that's when I'll be really excited because I think that's all we need now. Everybody seems to like everyone except the two boys. Well, is this not just the cutest thing you've ever seen? Oh my goodness. Just need you to flop down now, Bertie. I actually cannot deal with how cute this is. now the start of day three everything is still going well I was able to sleep in my own bed again and there was absolutely no problems I've just given them some breakfast they really liked it Robin seems to be getting better with Bertie he's not just trying to bite him all the time so that's good but yeah still so far so good Oh my 
goodness, what am I witnessing right now? It had to be too good to be true. Now the fighting has begun. Great. Went upstairs for two seconds, heard a big bang, came down, everyone was hiding. Bertie and Robin at it. <laughs> fighting. What's going on? What's your deal? Due to the little fight they had, it wasn't a massive fight, but it was still a fight, I have put them back in the cage just so they can sort themselves out for a bit. When they start being nice again, I will open it up. So, it might seem like I'm being mean, but we're on day three, I really need this to work. So, if I give them a small space, they're more likely to sort them out. So, we'll see how they get on. Boys. Oi. Hey. Hey. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Now the evening of the third night, everybody is getting along fine. They're still in this reduced size cage because I really don't want to extend it when they're not 100%. And until the boys start being nice again, I don't want to give them any more space. So it is the end of day three and I think it's safe to say that things are going well. All five bunnies are here, we've got Robin, Primrose, Ruby, Scarlet, and Bertie is squished underneath. Um, so yeah, I think it's going really well. Um, even though the boys aren't like besties yet, the fact that they're lying like literally next to each other is a really good sign. And yeah, it's just really positive and I'm really excited. So we will continue and see how things go tomorrow. Just woke up. Just come to check on the bunnies and Robin decided to hump everyone. So, well, he just humped all three girls. Uh, not Bertie yet, but we will see. Uh, that's just another really normal behaviour when it comes to bonding. Yeah, I think it's just a way of showing dominance, getting to know each other really. But uh, yeah, as you can see, he's going from rabbit to rabbit. So, luckily they're all neutered in space, so no babies, but that's just normal. <laughs> I've let them out of the cage again because I just thought they were ready to come out. They did have a few fights this morning, just the boys. Well, I say fights, what it was was Robin chasing Bertie and pulling out his fur. But fur pulling is normal in bonding, so I just have to let them get on with it. Bertie's just a bit nervous of Robin, but they're doing okay. It could be worse. Hello, it is day five. I've not updated because it's been pretty steady all day. I actually went out today, which was nice i actually got to leave the house but yeah as you can see they're doing all right bertie's feeling a lot more comfortable around robin he's just flopped down next to him and he's now having a wash so they're getting there i think slowly but surely it's now actually friday evening so i, I haven't actually filmed since yesterday at all but yeah it is going very good I'm just trying to work out what Robin is doing to Bertie. I think he's like, he's not biting him. I think he's just like nibbling his fur. Like he's washing it. Or dematting it. <laughs> Hello, 
we are now on day six. It is the afternoon and today has gone really smoothly. As you can see, the boys still seem to be getting on okay. Uh oh. Primrose. So it's day seven. We're nearly a whole week from when we started bonding and it's still going really, really well. The boys have been washing each other today. They've been getting on amazing. It's fab. They're, I think they're almost ready to move out, but I'm in no rush to do it because I don't want everything to fall to pieces when they do move out. So we're on the evening of day seven and it's going really well. The boys especially are getting on great, which is just so amazing. I could probably move them out tomorrow if I really had to, but I'm gonna let the bond kind of solidify a bit longer. But yeah, they're getting on great. What are you doing? So we are on day eight. The rabbits have officially been together over a whole week and they're doing really well, as you can see. Bertie's just been washing Ruby. Or are you Scarlet? Scarlet. <laughs> Bertie's just been washing Scarlet. Boys are still getting on well. Robin's warned Bertie a few times. He's like lunged towards him, but he's not bit him or anything like that. So I'm not really worried. As you can see, everybody looks pretty content. So, so far so good. We are now on day 10 of bonding. The rabbits are still in the bathroom. I've just finished prepping the shed for them as they're gonna move out tomorrow morning. So I'll just give you a really quick overview, um, but obviously I'm gonna fill it with a lot more toys and everything once I've settled in. But yeah, basically what I've done is I've repainted the shed. It's still not perfect because at the end of the day, it is an old shed. No matter how many coats of paint I put on, it still doesn't seem to go white. So we're just going to have to deal with it. But it looks a lot fresher than it did. I've also put lino on top of the hutch. They didn't used to be lino on it. So hopefully this will be better. It'll seem like a new place. The lino on the floor has had a really good scrub. And I've also got a new fresh lino up here. I've got a new litter tray that I'm going to start using. Two new litter trays. I've literally gone all out to make sure it's like a new place. New lino, painted it, scrubbed it. New litter trays, new toys. And look at this. It's so cute. And they have a little mat. And an Ikea bed, which is amazing. But I will do a big shed tour when it's all kitted out nicely. And I'll also show you the run, which I'm still working on cleaning. But yeah, so this is the shed. Um, and yeah, they'll probably stay in the cage for the first day and then I'll let them out to explore everywhere. And I am so nervous because even though they're getting on so amazing now, it could just go really badly when they move out. They might just be really territorial despite that it smells different, despite that it's now got lino and paint, they might still recognize it as their home and try and fight. So I guess we will just see how it goes, but yeah, it's all ready for them to move in in the morning and I will keep you updated. Everybody is doing great. Not really anything to update you on because they're just doing so fab. There's not been any fights, there's not been any aggression. It's just been amazing. Primrose is here too. But yeah, as you can see, the boys are next to each other. They're no longer avoiding each other or anything like that. They're very happy to sit together. They wash each other, they snuggle up, it's lovely. It's like a miracle because honestly they used to fight like oh, monsters. <laughs> I am so nervous about moving them out tomorrow. I'm so scared that the second they get out there, they're going to get really territorial and fight. I'm just praying that it goes well because these past 10 days have gone so well and if it just ends up falling apart tomorrow, I will be so upset. Obviously, I will take you with me and I'll show you how it goes. So, fingers crossed. Don't come on. They're just eating their breakfast. But we've not had any aggression or anything, but I don't know if that's just because they're distracted. Okay, so they're getting a bit stressed, so I am going to let them out because I feel like it's just going to upset them more if I don't. So, here we go, I guess.
still going well. I'm still really anxious. I'm thinking, are they just too busy exploring to fight or are we good? Everybody is just up on the middle shelf at the minute. The boys are next to each other. Just open the door so you can have a bit more light. Just so you can see them. There we go. It's going okay so far. As you can see, Robin's spreading the love with Prim. Scarlet's down here. Ruby's still grooming Berta. She's obsessed with it, aren't you? I'm about to leave for work, so I just came to check on the bunnies. Looks like everybody's still getting on well. There's no fur anywhere, so that indicates there's not been any fights. Well, nasty ones anyway, so I'm guessing everyone is good. Are you all going to behave? I'll be back in about six hours. You better be good, bunnies. Are you going to be good? I hope so. I hope so. Right, so I'm going to go to work now. I will bring you back when I come to check on them and let's hope that everything goes well. Moment of truth. Ah, the bunny's okay. Now that I'm back from work. I'm scared, let's see. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're not meant to come out. You're not allowed out. No. Oh, you little escapees. You little escapees. Everyone is good. Everyone is happy. Is everybody happy? Have you had a nice day? Better than being stuck in the bathroom, isn't it? No. It's now the evening, so I'm going to check on my bunnies. Excuse the state of the shed door, by the way. The paint's just come off. I painted inside the shed, but I'm not bothered with the outside. So, let's see if they're okay. Hello. Hello! Hi guys! Hi everyone! So there's no fur anywhere. Peed the bed and they've pooed on the floor, but there's no... What are you doing? There's no fur, which means no fights. So good, I'm so happy it's going well. It is now Sunday morning and the rabbits have been together in the shed all day Thursday, all day Friday and all day Saturday. So I've finally given them access to the outdoor run their aviary that is attached onto the shed. And I was gonna wait about a week before I let them out into this bit, but I changed my mind because they've just been so great. Not, there's not been any fights or any aggression when they've been in the shed. And they have been in there 72 hours now without any problems whatsoever. And every time that I've actually come down to see them and open the shed door, they've come running out into the aviary anyway. So clearly they wanted to be out here, they wanted the space and it's not been an issue. So I finally let them out and I think it's safe to say that we have a bonded group of five. I have been wanting to say that for the longest time and I can't believe it is finally true. They are living together. I've also given them access to the hutch now. There's just a few toys in there and then this bit is like their bedding area. They've also got the hay up there as well. A little bed litter tray and then they've got their top level too so yeah they are doing amazing and i am so so proud of them i'm going to be doing a shed tour a more in-depth shed tour where you'll see everything the dig box and everything so yeah thank you so much for watching i cannot believe it has worked out and i'll see you again for another video bye